Welcome everybody to another motocross action video. After hearing that Zach Osborne would be racing a Husqvarna TC300 two-stroke at the Wiseco World Two-Stroke Championship this year, we were very excited to watch him race. And afterwards, we borrowed the bike from Husqvarna with dirt on it and everything left straight from the races to go test it at Glen Helen ourselves. <laughs> Starting off with the aesthetics on this bike, Husqvarna went vintage for Zach's two-stroke to make it look like the Huskies from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. The entire engine, the carburetor, the FMF pipe and silencer, the kickstarter, the rear brake pedal, and the stock engine mounts were all Cerakoted black. Then the frame, it was painted silver, and the white Husqvarna shrouds were brought to Troy Lee himself to actually get painted cherry red and then Decal Works finished it off with the graphics. Although this two-stroke wasn't built by the Factory Rockstar Husky team, it did have an extensive list of factory parts, and we wanna list them off for you right here. <laughs> Because Zach Osborne has smaller hands, Pro Taper makes him custom bars with tapers at the end that allow him to run smaller grips. So Zach's grips are slightly larger than in diameter than the micro grips you can buy for mini cycle riders, but Zach's custom grips are not available to the public. The bars, they were also cut down to be a little bit skinnier than stock, and the levers, they're stock levers, but they're actually ground down by the Husky team to be a little bit thinner as well. It's tough to see the difference, but Zach is also running an older style front brake master cylinder on his Husky. This master cylinder was sourced from the 2013 and earlier model KTM 450s. It has a 10 millimeter piston inside of it instead of the new 9 mil one that comes in the standard bikes nowadays. This bigger piston in the older master cylinder displaces more hydraulic fluid and Zach says that it creates a more controllable braking power on the front brake. One thing Zach Osborne has been known for racing outdoors over the years is for always running running a scoop tire and really running it more often than anyone else. So for the Wiseco World Two Stroke Championship, Zach actually got his hands on the brand new Dunlop MX-14 scoop tire over two months before Dunlop even announced to us that they had a new tire coming out. We got to ride it on Zach's bike a while ago. So that's pretty cool. They also had a Husqvarna Power Parts 300cc cylinder kit inside of the engine on this bike. So it started out as a Husqvarna TC 252 stroke, but it was big board with that cylinder kit that you can buy through KTM dealers, Husky dealers as well. Factory services, the engine department for KTM, Husqvarna and Gas Gas, they built out the engine on this two-stroke and Billy Henderson, he was the tech on this project. He wouldn't explain to us what he did to the engine, but by looking at the engine from the outside, you can tell by the two mil spacer that's underneath the cylinder that he long rotted it. We also suspect that he probably bored out the Makuni carburetor as well to give this bike some more over rev power. Guts Racing provided an extremely cut down version of of their phantom lightweight seat foam and they installed their pleated gripper seat cover and bump on it to keep Zach on the bike. Besides the factory parts and the custom pieces that we just mentioned, there's also a hefty list of Husqvarna power parts items that Zach ran on his bike that you can actually buy. So that's the list of things you can't buy. Now let's get into the list of things that you can buy. Zach used WP Exact Pro cone valve forks and they also used the Exact Pro track shock from WP with the standard height. He didn't use the lowered height that comes standard on Husqvarna two strokes and four strokes. The Brembo brakes that he used on this bike, they used to be factory for KTM and Husqvarna, but now the factory teams have a newer brake and these are now available to the public also through the Power Parts catalog. WUSA, they assembled the wheels with silver Excel Takasago rims, black Han hubs, WUSA spokes, and WUSA sprocket bolts as well. The carbon fiber rear brake caliper and rotor guards, they can also be found in the Power Parts catalog and the internals of the Husky clutch are stock, but they added a recluse clutch cover and Zach used the power parts whole shot device from KTM and Husqvarna and that thing was set super low. <laughs> So 
that's enough about the details on Zach Osborne's two stroke. Let's get into how it ran on the track. So we know that with Husqvarna, KTM, and even Gas Gas 300cc big bore two strokes, it takes some fiddling with the jetting and power valve to create a smooth, optimal connection between the throttle and the rear wheel on these bikes. However, Zach Osborne's TC300, that thing was dialed in. It had a smooth and reliable connection between throttle and rear wheel, which made it a lot easier to get on the gas than most two strokes. You might remember that MXA was actually able to test Cooper Webb's KTM 300 two stroke from the 2019 Red Bull Straight Rhythm that he rode three years ago. Zach's engine felt very similar to Cooper's and it makes sense because they were built inside of the same engine department. This TC300 is extremely fast and it feels like the power never signs off. The new Dunlop MX14 scoop tire also made this bike pull out of corners even stronger than it would have previously with a 33 on the rear. The scoop tire has tall spoon-like rows of knobbies molded from a stiffer rubber compound just to dig into the soft stuff and get you pulling out of the corner strong. So in the soft deep loamy parts at Glen Helen, the MX-14 scoop tire works wonders and personally I really like scoop tires a lot and I know that it helped Zach Osborne out on the start for the race. Helped him get a second place start in the first moto and a whole shot in the second moto but with the TC300 already being such a fast motorcycle and Glen Helen having such a hard base to it with a lot of hard pack sections on that track, this tire was a little bit too much for it at Glen Helen. Talking about the cockpit and how Zach's bike was feeling for our test riders, I got to ride it and we had a few other guys hop on this thing as well. It was definitely weird. I usually don't mind a lowered seat foam, but Husky cut that gut seat foam out so much that it felt like you were riding on the subframe in the front and the middle of the seat. The rear part of the seat, yeah, you had a little bit of foam there, but the front, I felt like they got rid of almost all of that gut seat foam. Smaller diameter, custom pro taper grips were nice, but the cut down handlebars were a little bit weird for us to get used to, at least taller guys like me. As is the case on most factory bikes, Zach Osborne's two-stroke was very stiff in the suspension department. The suspension, it starts out plush on top, but it ramps up super quickly to provide a strong holdup. If you ride it at an average pace of a regular weekend warrior or somebody who races intermediate class, it's definitely way, way too stiff and this suspension will beat you up. If you're a pro who can hang out there and go wide open on this thing, you'll love Zach Osborne's suspension, at least until you get tired, because then it gets too stiff again. Talking about the brakes, the stock Brembo brakes that come on KTM, Husqvarna, and Gas Gas bikes are plenty strong, but the factory Brembo brakes offer more pucker power thanks to the stiffer calipers and just bigger pistons that they have in there. With the two-stroke already being such a lightweight motorcycle and then having a super fast engine also with very little engine braking, strong brakes feel even stronger because they're used so much. For me personally, I didn't need these stronger brakes. It was almost too much brake power for me, but Zach Osborne liked it and that's what he ran. <laughs> In the end, the MXA test riders concluded that Zach Osborne's Husqvarna TC300 was too fast for mortal men. It takes serious stamina and skill to hold on to a big bore 300 two-stroke when going wide open for a 20-minute moto on a rough Glen Helen track. We liked this bike. It thought it was super fun to ride for a few laps, but none of us could hold on to it for what needed to be a 20-minute moto at Glen Helen. The suspension was awesome when you were going wide open, but it beat you up as soon as you stopped going 100% around the whole track. Unfortunately, for Zach Osborne, he wasn't in tip-top race shape when he came to race the World Two Stroke Championship at Glen Helen. He was up front on the start in both motos, but ultimately finished ninth place in Moto One and in Moto Two. Obviously, Zach Osborne isn't in full-time training anymore, and he was still dealing with the same lingering back injury that caused him to retire early last year. So, Zach Osborne is the 450 national champion from 2020. That same Zach Osborne didn't show up to Glen Helen for this two-stroke race, but he didn't make any excuses, and we sure 
do you hope to see Zach Osborne back at the World Two Stroke Championship in 2023? And looking forward to see him get some redemption next year as well. All in all, we had a blast riding Zach Osborne's bike and we appreciate that Husqvarna and Zach Osborne are going racing and we're excited to see what Zach and Husky do next year on the 2023 two strokes that are fuel injected. So MXA has been riding those bikes a little bit. We got videos on the KTM and on the Husky fuel injected two strokes. You can check out on our website and our new YouTube channel. <laughs> For more of what the MXA Wrecking Crew is up to, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and hit the bell button to get notifications when we release new videos. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.